नमस्कार द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ फ्रेंड एंड क्वालिटी ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप इज डिटर्मिन बाय हु वी आर एम्यूलेटिंग समवेयर आई रेड अ रिसर्च दैट इफ यू हैव हैड अ फ्रेंड फॉर सेवन इयर्स मोस्ट लाइकली दैट विल रिमेन योर फ्रेंड फॉर लाइफ बट वट डज इट टेक टू फाइंड आउट अ फ्रेंड विद होम यू कैन सस्टेन फॉर एट लीस्ट सेवन ईयर्स इट्स अ मेक और ब्रेक डील ऑफ लाइफ नो आइडल्स वी एम्यूलेट शुड बी पावरफुल स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड इंस्पायरिंग टू बी अ गुड ऑन्टरप्रन्योर योर आइडल कैन बी रतन टाटा बट मे नॉट बी द शॉप कीपर नियर यू बट वॉट अबाउट फ्रेंडशिप सो इन माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग देर इज वन फ्रेंडशिप दैट कैन सेट द टोन फॉर एवरीथिंग दैट यू एंड योर लिटिल फ्रेंड कुड बी that friendship is of god shiva and god vishnu the top 5 qualities of friendship trust dependability respect humor and truthfulness find their true spirit in the love between these two cosmic friends if you need proofs go on welcome to unlearn with ashish if your friendship is beyond a friendship band and unnecessary expectations from the other you are blessed Why don't you and your friends subscribe to this channel and help me grow? Anyhow, friends are always together. You know that. You don't have to ask. It's understood. You ask, he gives. If he can't give, you don't judge. You don't question. So, according to Hindu tradition, when the cosmic sea was about to be churned for divine elixir and other useful elements, the condition was that everything that comes from it must be accepted, and only and only then the churning would continue. to bring out the next thing the first problem was the need of a strong base on which mandar mountain could be placed to be used as churner so god vishnu took the form of tortoise and went to the bottom of cosmic ocean and supported the mighty mountain the mountain was used as a churner with the help of a close aid of god shiva the serpent vasuki when churning began the first product was hot poison the heat and toxicity were about to burn and kill the whole world someone needed to accept it someone needed to consume it vishnu was busy supporting the churner so who would be doing that who could be trusted upon his best friend shiva nobody said anything to each other it was just understood shiva came drank the poison settled as in his throat that turned blue and hence the name nilkant the one with the blue throat both the friends in their hearts smiled at each other that's dependability next shiva's first wife sati committed self immolation when her father insulted shiva in a grand ceremony shiv initially had asked her not to visit the ceremony because they were not invited and it is not good to be part of someone's celebrations unless you are invited but sati didn't agree and went ahead shiva of course stayed back as a result she saw her father and everyone insulting shiva over there sad and humiliated she jumped into the yagya pyre and immolated herself when shiva got to know this he became furious he reached there of course he took the revenge but then later descended into sadness he was lost he was depressed he was gone he got insane his love of life was no more he tenderly gathered up her sacred body and started wandering the universe worried by this the devas called vishnu to help him restore shiva's sanity because otherwise how would the universe function vishnu used his sudarshan chakra weapon and cut sati's body in 52 parts as the parts slowly fell from shiva's hands onto various places on earth that's truthfulness not being feared of what the friend will think and just taking the decision that benefits him shiva resurged from insanity knowing that nothing is in his hands and the sanity was restored in the universe these pieces by the way fell into various places on earth and are known as shakti peeths highly highly sacred places of worship these guys you know play on humor as well So it was Shiva's wedding with Parvati. Shiva is the core element of the universe, the one that is unborn, the one that is always there, Shashwat, Adi Yogi. He has no father. He is everything of everybody. 
the priest who was supposed to marry Shiva and Parvati had reached the, that portion of ceremony where he wanted to know the names of Shiva's father, grandfather and great-grandfather to be recited in the mantras. So he asked Shiva, what's your father's name? There is no father. What would Shiva tell? So he said, Vishnu, Vishnu is my father. Probably that's where the phrase Baap ko sikhaega apne, you know, you'll teach your father, huh? Among friends has come. So anyways, now he asked him, Who is your grandfather? Now Vishnu is also Avinashi, eternal. He is also parent of everyone. So Shiva says, My father is Vishnu. Vishnu's father is Brahma, the third god in the Holy Trinity. So Shiva thought that, oh, thank God. I mean, of course, not thank God. He was relieved that now the wedding proceedings will continue. But priest said, Who's your great grandfather? Now Shiva lost it. He said, My father is Vishnu. His father is Brahma. And I am Brahma's father. Now get me married if you want to. That's humor. Next property. So in Treta epoch, the battle between God Ram and Raman was about to begin. Ram, who is incarnation of Vishnu, never started any important task without his friend Shiva. So he installed a Shivalingam at the seashore where his army was stationed. He did puja of the Shivalingam and mentally sought Shiva's blessings, Shiva's support, now that battle was about to begin. In their minds, they smiled at each other and Shiva said, I got your back, bro. Ram said, I know. And then he said to his army, we now have the blessings of Rameshwar. That means the God of Ram, Shiva. That's respect. And now, finally, what about trust? Now, this is interesting, actually. Vishnu knows that Shiva is kind and anyone who pleases him with penance would get some boon. Demons and unrighteous people use this to their advantage. So there was a demon named Bhasmasur who did great penance and obtained the boon from Shiva that anyone whose head he touched would be burned to ashes. Crazy that the demon was, he wanted to try it on Shiva only. Shiva ran and sought help of Vishnu. Vishnu took the form of Mohini, the most beautiful woman. And Bhasmasur fell in love with her immediately and wanted to marry her. Mohini said, okay, I have a condition. I love dance and you also will have to dance with me first. If you can match my moves identically, then and only then I'll marry you. So he agreed. The dance went on for many days. And amidst this, Mohini struck a pose where her hand was placed on top of her head. Bhasmasur imitated her and immediately turned to ashes. That's trust. No matter how hard you blow something off, you can trust that your friend will take you out of misery. He'll be there with you. In fact, God Krishna, the reincarnated form of Vishnu, gleefully once remarked during the great Mahabharata war. He smiled and said, Mahadev also keeps on making these quick promises. Mahadev, Shiva. And only I know what I have to do to take care of the outcomes later. That's friendship. No judgment, no fear, no expectation, only devotion, only love. They are both powerful. They probably don't need each other. In the core, they are one. But they do need each other. They are one. That's the friendship one can really aspire for. Do you have a friend like that in your life? Or are you someone's Vishnu or Shiv? I am fortunate that I have more than one Shiv or Vishnu. Why don't you tell me that in comments and share this video with your Shivas and Vishnus. See you soon. Namaskar.